I'm sure there's a good reason why you should sign for the record company, but <laughs> I, I don't know what it is right now. But I got, I'm sure there is. Yeah. I just don't know what it is. I guess international things, yeah. licensing, uh, music placement, perhaps in television and movies, although yeah. there are separate firms for that. Yeah. Um, Reminds me a little bit of what happened with some of the, the publishing companies. You know, the way it used to be, you could be signed as a writer and get your songs placed individually, and then it became this buying catalogs. And then, I know when I did a deal with uh, Warner Chapel, it was just for this, a catalog, you know? And it was just the big thing. It wasn't anymore. They weren't interested in just shopping the little songs here and there. Right, So it yeah. seems similar in the way... Well, and that's sort of reflective of, you know, What's the word I'm looking for? The uh, consolidation in every industry right. in America, yeah, it's really. It's really true. So yeah. Like one company owns close to a monopoly of everything. You know, three, four, five big major record companies. So, why well, they're cons mostly concerned about their uh, shareholders yeah. and their stock price. Yeah. So they don't want to. My impression is, I could be wrong. They don't, they they want music delivered to them on a silver platter. Mm -hmm. Get it out there and have it start selling right away. Right away. Mm -hmm. Going to the days of signing, you know, Bob Dylan and developing him for 40 years or whatever. I just don't think that happens anymore. I don't know, but I'm wondering whether also some of this, it seems to me that it's opened up a lot of different avenues for a lot of different things to happen now because people are trying to, they're scratching their heads and trying to think of new ways to invent the wheel a little bit, you know? Perhaps, you know? Um, Maybe some good things will come out of that, you know, yeah. independent. Elton John had a funny quote. He's like, uh, I think they should shut down the internet for five years. <gasps> Just completely shut it down and let's see where we are creatively five years from now. Really interesting perspective. Interesting perspective. Yeah. Certainly one that we all grew up with, kind of. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I mean, I remember a day when, I mean, we'd buy the album and wait for it to come out and it was a, there was a mystery about the artist that you love, you know? Well, everything's so accessible now. Right. You know, it seems almost that, like nothing's, you know, you would hear a song on the radio, maybe you would see a picture of them in a mm -hmm. magazine. Right. You wouldn't see them on television. There was no internet. Right. So everything's just a second away. Right. Literally a second away. Right. Or you want to buy something, hear something, watch something, it's a second away. Yeah, that's true. So... Makes it less special, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, but, but I feel we're less long-lasting. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we're all in this kind of new land together to figure but out where there's still lots of great songwriters. There's still lots of great songwriters. You yeah, just had lots of Jesse songs, Harris so. on the other week. Jesse Harris, great songwriter. Yeah, you have a history with Jesse. People. so yeah, amazing guy. I used to say he was like the, the Woody Allen of songwriting. He's like to these little vignettes that were almost like little Woody Allen movies. Right, you know, yeah. That feeling that you get when and you watch a Woody Allen you know, movie. If you can uh, create a visual image of your song without yeah. being video, right. that's even better. Even better. I want to thank um, Jonathan Clark for <laughs> taking My the time pleasure, Tina. to give us this blog that we're going to lovingly edit. Um, and we look forward to seeing him live November 7th and 8th at the New York Songwriter Circle, The Bitter End, 8 o'clock. The legendary Bitter the End. legendary <laughs> Bitter End, which now when uh, Kenny Gorka, who manages The Bitter End, said whenever anybody calls him legendary, it just means old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. It's still live and thriving, and we look forward to seeing Jonathan, and thank him so much for his time tonight. We'll see you there. Okay, see you there. Good night.